that uh, he boosted the post. So Mr. Kennedy cannot take the post down. This is drama, guys, because he boosted it. Don't mess with Mr. Kennedy's coins. But after some prompting from Alley Cat, uh, he has said he will split the proceeds with Joe. So I would like somebody to contact Joe and find out, did he really split the proceeds with Joe? Mr. Kennedy, keep all that to yourself. Brilliant idea. I mean, why do you, I mean, I don't see anything wrong. If it was your idea, why not, right? Take the money and run, Jamesy boy. Take the money and run. Um, on Sunday, we did a little one of these quick hits and I said, you know, I don't know if I believe Bethany. And I was so like, I don't know if I should really say that because like, oh, everyone's going to come for me. And, you know, did she really get punched in the face in New York? And now everyone is like doing the exact opposite. All of a sudden there's videos and this and that. Nobody believes Bethany. Well, go listen to our Sunday show because didn't I say that first? I just don't see it. You, were, you talk about scraping out, you know, the cream cheese on your fucking bagel and uh, why you love Vegemite on your sandwiches. Welcome home, Bethany, from uh, Australia. I don't buy it. I don't buy that this Bethany, um, I don't buy it. I don't buy that she um, was punched in the face and kept it to herself for months. I don't see it. I just don't see it. Do you see it? Katie and Sheena are having it out. I'm telling you, it's going to be Ariana and Katie versus everyone next season. I mean, Lala, Lala's, please. Lala is like full court scandal basically at this time. Um, but regardless of that, um, now there is drama between Katie and Sheena over um, Katie hooking up with Max. Katie is like, Sheena was not trying to help me. She was trying to be shady and track where I was and cause drama and didn't even text me. Well, now she is revealing the receipts. I did text you, bitch. I did care about you. So, I mean, does anyone care? Does anyone care that Sheeta hooked up with John Mayer? Like, is that a story? Come on. <sighs> what else? Oh, Sandoval. God, I'm doing a lot of Vanderpump today. Uh, Sandoval is very upset with Anne. He's very disgraced said that uh, Anne's job description said she has to clean and she doesn't do anything gross. She doesn't touch dirty laundry. She has to pick up and just to do the dishes. You know what? If I had an assistant, they'd have to tidy up every time they got here too. I've had assistants. Doesn't last, guys. Doesn't last. I'm a hard one to work for. I'm a lone wolf. No one should be working for me. I have people working for me now, but... You know, we don't interact very much. It works best that way. You know what I mean? Less is more with me sometimes. Um, but uh, sorry, Team Tom on this one. If you work for me, you'd have to tidy up. I probably would make you. I mean, I'd like an all-in-one, to be honest with you. I'd like an assistant slash driver slash housekeeper. I'd like it all-in-one. Why do we have to have multiple people on the payroll? I mean, of course, the person would get more money. But um, I have a housekeeper. She's great. Uh, assistant, let me just do all my work myself, please. But uh, he's very upset with Anne. She's disgraced him. She he would never go on national TV like that and talk about him. I like Anne, Justice Friend. We need more Anne. Kind of obsessed with Anne. And uh, finally, Shannon has come out and uh, she's talking about the lawsuit from John and she's saying she paid for everything for John again. I mean, are we shocked? I'm not shocked about this. Um, man, this Shannon can't catch a break. I'm not making any excuses for that DUI girl, but she can't catch a break. Um, he's suing her. And Alexis Bellino posts, she's like, you know, because someone posted some meme or something like cute hottest couple in Bravo history, or I don't know what the fuck they said about John and Alexis, but it was positive. And Alexis is like, wow, finally some some support for us. And she's like, you know, that's great, but I don't care. She's like, if you're behind us, great. If you're not, I don't care because John and I will be together forever. She keeps saying this, we'll be together forever. I mean, girl, 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 have you learned nothing? Kyle and Mauricio, she's talking, that Mauricio, she's got a lot to say, guys, has Alexis learned nothing. I mean, I think it's going very well with Mr. Jansen. 
Um, Mr. Jansen has a big smile on his face. And a lot of these pictures of Alexis, he hasn't really smiled much when he was with Shannon. But, you know, I think he's happier with Alexis for a lot of reasons, which I'll keep to myself. Forever? I mean, slow your roll, Miss Bellino. Slow your roll, Mrs. Uh, Jim Bellino's ex. Um, that's a that's a mighty strong statement. Tori and Dean. Is everyone following the Tori spelling divorce? She was just at her car crying and crying. You know, I find Tori's podcast to be, I mean, I'm not listening to it. I just think, I think with the success of Shannon Doherty's podcast, Tori's like, oh, I need money. Let me cash in on that. The difference is, you know, yeah, we kind of want to hear about your divorce. I mean, you guys did a whole reality show with all the troubles, but it's different. I mean, Shannon's podcast, Shannon just talked about in her podcast that she is cleaning out and giving her stuff away so that when she passes away before her mother, her mother won't have to go through all her stuff. I mean, you can't compare the two. Plus we have like Holly Marie Combs and we have, God, Shannon's had such good guests on her podcast. I don't know. I don't think Tori's podcast is going to be that, but Tori and Dean, the divorce is filed. So Alexis girl, just be careful, you know, don't use the word forever, but she says if you guys are not behind her, she doesn't care because her and John are together forever. They do look happy, poor Shannon, um, but let's not feel too sorry for Shannon because when Shannon was doing this interview, which was on Jeff Lewis, Jeff, thank you for mentioning by, me, by the way, the other day for my interview with Stu, um, Jeff Stu, but Shannon... I don't know. I found her answers about her community service and everything related to the DUI. None of it added up. It was simple questions like, how many days a week do you do it? Where do you go? Where do you check in? I mean, girl, are you really doing all this? Because it, it, for someone that is doing the community service, her answers were vague at best. So let's not feel I'm really down the middle with Shannon. Look, where New York and and Salt Lake without Monica and Atlanta ugh, and Potomac ugh, and Salt Lake without Monica. Ugh. Though, see, it has some legs to stand on. It's, you know, I mean, I don't know. It might be an OK season of the OC. I might be excited, right? I don't know. Just a quick hit. Did you listen to my interview with Sandra Bernhardt yesterday? I fucking love Sandra Bernhardt. I've wanted her on this show for about five years and it happened. Dream big, folks. Dream big. Love you all. We're going to have a great new show tomorrow. That's going on in the Bravo world. That's going on with Tori Spelling and the divorce. Let's keep, let's keep watching that one. And I will talk to you all very soon. Love you. Hope you like the quick hits. Have a great day.